Okay guys, it totally stuck to both sides. And I even sprayed it. Uh, what am I doing wrong? I'm sure it's gonna taste fine. <laughs> Try not to scrape my waffle iron with my fork. I'm gonna use my spatula. Where I coated this just the same as I normally do. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, it's going to taste good. I can smell it, but. All right, let me keep you from hearing all the clanking with my fork. Okay, it came, it comes out totally clean. It's not like it sticks to the pan, but I don't know why. It, uh, I'm sure it's gonna taste the same. Mm, yep, I still enjoy it. It just looks like a mess. I had to run to the other room and grab my phone. I'm gonna try something new. Okay, this might be a total fail because I haven't been Maybe it'll stand here on the stove. But all this mashed potato and these waffle iron hacks, okay, this is not going to work because it's too big. But I feel like maybe if I just use a skillet, ah, I'm not going to end up burning it. I can't find a, that's not going to work. Okay, I got to take it off the heat because I can't find to turn it. I don't like using these on my non-stick pans, but okay. Goodness gracious, this is the one I was looking for. But look, I think I'm going to do this with my mashed potatoes. This is a, the chocolate chip pancake, by the way. If you just get a tiny little egg skillet and just fit the whole batter in the circle, I think that might work better for me with my mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna try that. <laughs> Because, see, I don't have one of those little mini dash waffle irons. I have, like, a big waffle iron. You've seen it. And I've failed twice now. It makes fine waffles for me with the pancake batter. But, I don't know. I'm thinking this is going to do much better. Hmm. I do love these pancakes. Okay. I'll make a video later today trying to use the skillet and making like a mashed potato pancake. Hey YouTube. I'm talking quiet because everyone else is asleep and my ice machine just went off. It's the first day of kindergarten for me. <laughs> All right guys, I'm gonna try for my breakfast to make like a hash brown type potato. I'm gonna do this in the skillet and let's see if it works this time.
<laughs> I'm so bad at this. I thought the bigger spatula would work. It does not any good cooking. turn the heat down. I'm going to call this cookie with dummies. <laughs> uh, I wish I knew how to flip. Like, you know, they pick the pan up and they flip it. <laughs> uh, I was hoping that I could make myself a, a hash brown. Kind of looking like a hash brown. I gotta be at work in like three minutes. Definitely titling this Cooking with Dummies. All right, guys, here's my taste test. I'm sure it tastes just like the other ones. It looks a little bit more like a, a smashed potato on the inside with just crust on the outside. It's good, but <laughs> I was kind of hoping for that in the inside of a hash brown. Back to the drawing board. I'm back home. Very successful first day of kindergarten. I uh, I'll put a picture of my class. And uh, full. It's 24. We have 12 boys, 12 girls. And uh, just went over the rules and getting to know the classroom, getting to know each other, you know, yada, yada. It was good, though. We only had one crier, and she only cried for maybe five minutes. But the parents brought the children to the classroom the first day, and they'll get to do that again tomorrow. And then come Monday, they're on their own to walk down the hall. So um, I'm really excited. Good year. I'm hungrier than I normally am, but I think it's because I'm up earlier and I went, went, went all day. Barely got one of these in today. When you're teaching, that's the hardest part. You don't get bathroom breaks, you're on your feet all day, and you rarely have time to drink any water. So I do have the, the tomato penny pasta going in the microwave right now, and I'm gonna sit down and enjoy a fueling a more heartier fueling. I made the mashed potatoes this morning and um, yeah, I'm not doing so good with those. <laughs> but I think the next time I will figure it out. I thought it would be three times a charm, but I do. I think this fourth time I, I attempt, I'm just gonna let them cook a little longer on a lower heat. You know. I'll figure it out. If you have suggestions, of course I'll take them, because uh, this is not this is not an expert in the kitchen, right? Anyway, guys, um, I don't know how I'm going to edit this video. I don't know really what I'm going to talk about the rest of the day. I just, I mean, the only things I ha I have some things on my mind that I just don't. I'm just going to give to God. Uh, I got some, that massage I got yesterday, I thought would get all these knots out, but it's not working. I, uh, I'm carrying some stress and I got to get rid of it. I may go to a chiropractor. The next step. All right. I can't end my video this way. I'll figure out something else to say in a minute. Have I showed you guys? I think I have in previous videos. The Rustic Tomato Herb Penny. This is like my lunch go-to. I really enjoy it. Uh, you don't get a whole lot of noodles with it, but it's, can you see that? I like it, it has a lot of seasoning and it just feels more like a meal than a snack. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and watching all of my failed attempts. 
and um, keep watching because I am going to continue. Tomorrow would have been my last day when I thought I was going to do this for 30 days. That ends tomorrow, but I'm not quite to where I really want to be. So I'm going to do this at least for another 15. I don't know. Keep watching and I appreciate it. Thanks.